KTLA 5 Steve Kuj live outside the company's Pasadena dealership with some of those customers. Are they letting you cut in line, Steve? I tried to, and actually <laughs> someone pushed me out of the way and said, don't do that again. Uh, well, that, that's okay. You know, I'll have my chance to get in line later. This car, though, the buzz behind it has been absolutely incredible in the automotive world for the past few months. Tesla, for anybody who knows, they make some of the most luxurious, highest-rated, award-winning vehicles on the road today. The one problem, they're really expensive. So, you know, what do you think happens when Tesla announces they're going to come out with a much more affordable model? People by the hundreds, by the thousands, started clamoring to get behind the wheel of one. People like the hundreds of people waiting in this Pasadena line right now. There's nothing quite like spending a beautiful day at the beach. <sighs> well, except when the beach is absolutely disgusting. Ugh. Garbage, filthy water, mountains of bird poop. This place gets a nickname. It's called the Polio Pond. This was Pochi Beach, but thankfully there have been improvements. See? And if you think it's windy now, just brace yourselves. Things are expected to get a whole lot worse. Strong gusts are currently blowing all over the Santa Clarita Valley. You can see just some of that happening right here behind me. We're currently experiencing a high wind warning. That means, ladies, grab those hair ties. You don't want things to get all crazy. During this storm, we could experience gusts up to 80 miles an hour. It's all fun, as long as you don't eat the yellow snow. Or eat it on a jump. The war of the rails continues tomorrow with performances from some of the top freestyle skiers in the world. I'm talking about Olympians and X Game gold medalists. So if you don't mind a little bit of cold, Woo! then Big Bear is probably the place to be this weekend. In Big Bear, I'm Steve Kuj, KTLA 5 News. Let's count the time, shall we? Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday before these camped out shoppers get the deals they're waiting for. I'm Steve Cooge with the full story on the Black Friday shopping holiday. Well, guys, I'll tell you, this fire is burning at an explosive pace. As we mentioned, it began as just two acres and within 30 minutes had jumped to more than a thousand acres. The latest information we have from the U.S. Forest Service, this fire, the Blue Cut Fire, as they're calling it, has now grown to more than 2,000 acres. We're just off of the 15 freeway here in the Cajon Pass. From the ground level, you can see the damage this thing has done. It's already scorched a wide section of this area. No word yet on what exactly sparked it, but the archery range was on the exact opposite side of this mountain, and with Within a matter of minutes, due to the high speed winds, those flames were pushed from one side of the mountain all the way to the other side, where there was a very large community of hundreds of homes. They're calling this the Erskine Fire. The thieves, when they hit this place, they definitely knew what they were doing. Only took them about 20 seconds to smash the glass, then use a pair of bolt cutters to literally just cut the lock right off of the steel security gate. And they make their way inside here, help themselves to whatever they wanted, around $100,000 of those new iPhone 6s and the iPads. Of course, when you rob an electronics store, it's going to have some security surveillance systems set up in it, and there's lots of video. Take a look at this stuff. Micah, in both of these scares, if the mothers had not have acted quickly, well, they surely would have lost their children. It's a scary scenario that played out right here behind me. This is where one of the attempted child abductions took place. In both of these cases, they happened within 20 minutes of each other and less than a mile away, which leads police to believe they're dealing with the same person or persons. When the rain started falling, it funneled down these mountains, forming a river. And that river carried with it enough dirt, rock, mud, and gravel to bury an entire city. Well, back out here live at the scene of the protest in this neighborhood. We have not noticed any physical violence taking place, but we have noticed some vandalism happening tonight. A lot of spray painting going on, including this spot right by my feet. A lot of buildings and businesses have had their windows spray painted. Uh, we can't show you most of it because it says some words that we're not allowed to show you on live television. Meanwhile, police tonight are still searching for the driver and other passenger that were in the vehicle with CJ. We're going to continue to monitor the situation and let you know if anything changes. For now, live in South Los Angeles, I'm Steve Koosh, KTLA 5 News.